Okay, so before calculating variances, we will first need to know these two. We need to know what is the variable overhead rate, what is the fixed overhead rate, so we have a base to compare against. Okay, so the budgeted variable overhead total cost is how much? So the budgeted total cost, static budget variable overhead cost was 9,000. We budgeted this. And then the basis direct labor hours, we expect to have 1,800 hours, right? So the variable overhead rate would be around $5, right? That would be the budgeted overhead rate for a variable cost. Now for fixed cost, standard fixed cost, the same process. We have a fixed overhead, 4,500, and again, we're using the labor hours to allocate the cost, so each hour, the rate would be $2.50. Okay, we'll be using this for variable overhead variances and also fixed overhead variances a little bit later. Now, if we want to compute this part, <clears throat> using this information, if you want to get variable expenses, a variable overhead variances and fixed overhead variances, we're referring to this problem here. How would you be able to get that? Okay, the next question is variable variance and also fixed variance. Okay, using the same data, you have now the standard price here. You also have $2.50. <coughs> if you're trying to calculate variable overhead variance, fixed overhead variance, referring to this, what would be the process? So if we want to get variable spending variances, we are comparing which two numbers here? We're comparing using 10,200, that's the actual cost, and we should compare that against what? Using the static $5 times the actual number of hours used, right? which would be 
180 hours. So this together is the what we're trying to compare against, the standard. What could have happened using